Hi everybody, it's that time of the month and I'm going to show you February favorites. Um, so basically, I'm going to break this down for you. Every month now I'm going to start doing monthly favorites where I'm going to share my products that I used over the course of the month. It could be products that are brand new that I've uh, bought to try out. It could be stuff that I've had on hand for a long time and just decided to try to use it again. So, um, here, let's adjust that. There we go. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Ouch. <laughs> it hurt. Okay, first thing I've been using a lot of lately, and this is X Out. And I got this through Influencer. And for those of you who don't know what Influencer is, Influencer.com, it's basically this organization where they um, bring in samples or even full-size products for people to try out. And basically, when you sign up for it, you have to unlock all their badges and um, you may or may not qualify depending on where you live um, basically to try out their products and in return for trying out their products you know you blog about it you, you do YouTube videos about it you let everybody know about the products you tried take pictures what have you and I've actually had two boxes so far I've had one a few months ago right after YouTube went down when I YouTube went down, when I was not able to get on YouTube because my computer broke down, um, I got a Naturals Vox box, and I think is this what came in that? No, it wasn't. Um, a Naturals Vox box, and I even got Win in that box, and I'm not particularly fond of Win, but there was some other stuff that came with it, and then I got a Christmas Vox box, and now I'm waiting. I th should be getting it next week sometime or the week after. I'm waiting on the Valentine's Day box box so I'm excited to find out what's in that. So this was in one of the box boxes. I can't remember if this is Christmas or the not Honestly, I think this was Christmas. I really do. Yeah. So um, basically what this is is it's, it can be used as a wash in treatment it can be used as a um, mask and you can be used for spot treatment this is for acne and I use it as a cleanser and it's got like it's got three different uses so whatever floats your boat um, yeah, yeah you can use it for acne I use it to clean my face and I've found for myself my skin it's so dry and it peels and flakes and stuff I have to use a moisturizer in tandem whenever I use a cleanser now some people can't seem to use this because it will irritate their skin and make it like if you've got really really sensitive skin it will it will cause your cause your skin to get red and irritated it's like it's got like a burning sensation to it I like it it makes it makes me feel like I'm really getting to the root of my problems and um, it just has like this really strong smoke uh smoky soapy smell um, but yeah, I like it, courtesy of Influencer, but yeah, and uh, this is the 2.5 ounce, I don't know if this is the full size one or not, and I'm actually supposed to be getting a moisturizer by this company in the mail, I haven't gotten it yet, um, but yeah, this was for my last box, I've got a moisturizer from this company coming, some nails by Impress, and then... I don't know how that's gonna work. New York Colors is supposed to be sending me stuff sporadically because that was in my last box. I qualified for it. So there's the um, facial treatment that I have that I like. Now I'm very sad. My clientele that serum that I used it ran out, and I'm very sad. This is my sad face. Um, I ran out of the moisturizer, which really sucks and I can't exactly buy it because that's like stuff's like what forty fifty dollars a little bottle a little tiny bottle so um, I'm using some moisturizing cream that I've gotten from my local health food store a couple years ago and I'm finding it works just as well it just ha doesn't have that feeling that I get when I use clientele clientele is um, unbelievable I can't find anything better than them for that price it should be good but this is RNA DNA by Nature's Life and I've had this for quite some time and the light in here, there we go so basically it's like a cream and I use this around my nose is where I have problems sometimes my eyebrows 
and under my eyes and then on my eyes and moisturize so I use that after I use my blush in treatment it does fairly good it's got all natural stuff in it yeah discontinue if irritation or rash appears well, that's weird it's natural it shouldn't cause it but who knows but um, that's what I've been using lately all right next I got two perfumes by Avon called Santini's and this is the Rose Fizz and I've got another one it's Plum Twist and I do like the Plum Twist but today uh, today this month I've been gravitating towards this one lately and basically the Santini's from Avon you see it's clear in the bottom and there's like this gel on top and you shake it up Centini is like a spin off of Martini and then it's mixed and then you spray it on and they kind of remind me of Beauty Rushes from Victoria's Secret. Hmm. But um, I'm not buying from Victoria's Secret anymore. I'm very unhappy with them. They got caught for um, child labor. And one girl was actually abused from an article I read. She was actually abused. Um, the people that were over her. And I was none too thrilled about that. So... I have two perfumes from Victoria's Secret or Body Mess that I love and I guess I'm stretching them out for as long as I can because I won't be buying from them. I may buy them if I find them at garage sales or online already used, already pre-owned, but um, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. They're not getting my money. Alright, next, um, lately I've noticed that a lot of the bright neon bright bright nail polishes and lipsticks are in style right now and for under a dollar I picked up New York colors and this is a confusing nail polish I don't know if it's red I don't know if it's pink I don't know if it's orange it's like a, a in between of all three and this is called uh, Times Square and it's number 224 but um, it's just different I don't know, but I like it. Um, I don't have it on right now, but I did wear it for a couple weeks. I like it. It's, it'd be awesome for spring and summer, so that's great. There's another nail polish I'd like to get. It's like a tur turquoise teal, and I've noticed the past two years that color isn't going anywhere, so I might as well get it eventually. I might get it from New York Colors because this actually stayed on pretty good for being a cheap polish, and I had really good color to it. Next, hair. Alright, so um, I've actually had this for several, ye several, several years, and I got it at Kroger, and it was on sale, and I have read many articles about what girls do to get their hair to grow long and healthy. Well, as you can see, in the past year, my hair has grown quite a bit, and a lot of times I use this, and I can use it as a hot oil treatment. Sometimes I'll just put it in my hair and leave it in over the course of the evening and then wash it out by the end of the night um, but it, it has like so many oils in it olive oil, canola, wheat germ, sweet almond, safflower, castor, sesame, vitamins E, A, and D and a whole bunch of other stuff you can use it for hot oil, hair oil, body oil, scalp oil, bath oil, and nail oil and I use it for my hair, and I honestly believe that whenever I use this on a regular basis, my hair does grow longer, faster, and it is more healthier. So, um, yeah, I totally recommend this. And it's called African Royale Hot Six Oil. Me and my friends were talking about it a few weeks ago, and I was telling this girl about it. She thought I said hot sex oil, and she's like, whoa, Beth, <laughs> what do you use that for? I'm like, no, 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 it's hot six oil, not sex. But um, this this stuff, it's it's got a weird really uh, funky smell to it but totally worth the usage I would rather use this than some people they put what is a lemon juice or lime juice on their hair in the summer to lighten their hair and I can tolerate this a lot better than that the smell of that all right next I'm actually wearing them right now these are so cute when I really don't know if I want to simplify the jewelry or add more on this is perfect because it's just 
this is a let's see here there we go this is a rose uh, stud earring there we go and it actually comes from iCandyCouture.com and I love it and oh my goodness that office ticker is still on there I'm gonna have to take that off my apologies I'm not refilming this again it's late and I don't feel like it so deal with it <laughs> but um, I love these because they they go with just about anything and they're just sweet and cute and this is one of the, my favorite accessories as far as you know keeping it simple and it's also cute for Valentine's Day which is now over but they have purple they've got black I think they've got hot pink and then they've got the white and then they have little bows too that are the same kind they're really simple they're only four dollars which is really reasonable and she, my friend honey she makes these and she also makes this one I'm about to show you. This is another favorite of mine. I've been wearing this for since I've gotten it. I got this for Christmas from Honey. And uh, they're called lace earrings. And I love them. They look big, but they're really flexible to where if my hair brushes up against it, it'll just give. And um, they're just so cool. I love, I love these. I wear them a lot. I am nuts about them. They're just so cool and so different. And I really like jewelry that's unique. I like jewelry that not... Because what cheap jewelry have here in this area, they're, um, they're from Walmart. And everybody, you know, you, you look at a piece of jewelry somebody's wearing, you know it's from Walmart because that's that's the regular piece of jewelry that people sell. And then Forever 21, they do have some nice things, but you see it everywhere. Some of this stuff they make, you just see it everywhere. And I like stuff that, you know, you really got to look for. <laughs> and this is awesome. This is unique. I don't think anybody else makes this. And yeah, this is this was created by Honey at Eye Candy Couture, and oh my goodness, they're my favorite. This like Ellis is like one of my favorites out of all of the stuff I've gotten from her. And I actually have to be careful when I put them away so they don't get banned up. But oh my goodness, that's what I love about these earrings. I can wear my hair down. <laughs> you can see them, and it's they're not hidden, and um, I can have my hair up. You know, really chic and it just just enough bling. It just they're awesome. I love them. And you know, for being cheap jewelry, the earrings of themselves. I've worn these so much, and they're not turning green. That's one thing I hate about Walmart and Avon. Their jewelry, their cheap costume jewelry, it turns green and nasty. And I've worn these like almost daily, and they still look amazing. So. Yep, those are awesome. So, yep, those are February favorites. 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 You know, it's late. I can't talk. I can't talk. <laughs> okay. My daughter's talking. She likes to talk herself to sleep. It's so adorable. <laughs> She'll just lay in there, just babble to herself. A few days ago, she's starting to talk more. A few days ago, she's like, hey, love. Hey, love. <laughs> well, you all take care, and I hope you enjoy this. And if uh, you have any questions or any suggestions below, please leave them. So I will talk to you in another video.